do, I can work or shop. in my mind at least uh, the acid reflux fuck what is that it's just chocolate on the counter I didn't ruin the counter look like a burn it's just chocolate that would be great burn 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 mock we want to avoid a burn burn I thought of something else on my list that I need at the store. Um, oh, fuck. Oh. I had that acid reflux stuff. It's like every minute. Every minute. And one last night I just feel like I'm spinning off the wheels. Calling into work. Sick and worrying about that, am I going to get in trouble, and uh, stressing out over money. effortless whether it is or not you're just in this kind of zone I'm not necessarily something creative but like being in love or everything seems like it's been so much effort I mean with people and with whatever I have to deal with if it's Asperger's or whatever whatever it is So, um, just, what do I fear being alone, like everyone else, and I need to be alone too, it's like I don't, I'm ambivalent about it, I suppose death, but death is like, if you're not there, unless like in some alternate universe, I am dead now. We're just looking back like that scene I saw someone posted from Waking Life, where the woman said, maybe we're all just, this is just a moment where we're just looking back. Right now, this is just all a memory replaying, and you're looking back like you're looking back from the end of your life how would you know so it's like if you're in some kind of weird suspension that's really extremely discomfortable or even painful I don't that death I fear but the sleep or a transformation into some other what I don't know reincarnation stuff that seems like you just go through it and come out you'd come back out if that's true you've already been through it and so that means we don't know we have some trace that's human history you have some trace of what's come before genetic memory that we're able to survive 
the, the whole life in a day project is some kind of huge collective memory in a sense, I guess. I don't know. And uh, what makes me laugh is just the recognition of how absurd it is. It's painful and awkward. Life is painful and awkward. And you just have to laugh at it sometimes or cry. I sound like this freaking Werner Herzog melodrama, like just grim, bleak. I don't know, it's like you just look at yourself and laugh. And that's so freeing if you can somehow do that. This is important. This is important. What I have in my pocket, everything's there for a reason. This is the right. If I don't have extra pen, extra pens to write things down in the notebook, the notebook that I carry with me everywhere. I carried it into a dance club once. So obsessive about carrying a notebook to write things down. iPhone. <coughs> keep on on whatever, the online, whatever you call it, uh, protective order, I don't want to get into that, that's, um, coin purse full of guitar picks, um, adapters for podcasting gear for different microphones and cameras and things, always, I carry extra cords, extra extension cord, uh, batteries, extra adapters, just always, just in case, in the field, cigarette lighters, and I don't even smoke most of the time, but just in, and I picked, I did smoke, I picked up some, uh, fingernail clipper, I like to keep my fingernails clipped really, really close. Especially if I'm playing guitar. Very, very close. An adapter. A cigar cutter. I have to break out a cigar. Adapter. <laughs> it's lucky earth stone. That one of my counselors, this counselor gave me. Kind of good karma. I call it earth stone because it looks like the blue earth, two thirds blue water, and then the land. It's kind of like a miniature earth and a bunch of pocket change in okay, case so for parking meters. This is the way Salt Lake City is. Okay, excuse me, I'm having acid reflux. Anyway, well, that's whatever. That's a kind of a portrait of me through what's in my pocket. Okay. This, this my situation is just uh, just the the post post kind of a breakup thing and not even. I don't even want to get into that, but it's, uh, anyway, okay, all right, well, this, that's a moment out, out of my, uh, life, Brian Staker, 